Now, the recent rash of gun violence at DPS campuses is putting a spotlight on students' mental health. And in a time of need, Denver Public Schools is experiencing a mental health professional shortage. Denver 7's Brandon Richard digs deeper into the issue. Experts say student mental health has reached a crisis level. A CDC survey shows that in 2021, 44 percent of high school students felt persistently sad or hopeless. Nearly half of LGBTQ plus students seriously considered attempting suicide. And Native American and black students were more likely than others to have attempted suicide. As we look at, at the data, we know that students are experiencing more heightened sense of um, anxiety, um, depressive type symptoms. Meredith Fatsayas is a senior manager for mental health at Denver Public Schools. We're with students uh, a majority of the day, and um, we have a role to play in providing access to service. She says every DPS school has at least one full-time mental health provider a social worker or a psychologist. We've staffed our schools at high ratios with mental health providers, and it's we know it's still not enough. Like other districts, DPS is impacted by a national shortage of mental health professionals. The National Association of School Psychologists, for instance, recommends one psychologist for every 500 students. In Colorado, there's one school psychologist for every 942 students. Patsaya says the lack of diversity in the mental health field also makes the situation worse, especially in a district as diverse as Denver, where 75 percent of the students are minorities. It's important to ensure that we have diverse mental health providers who understand and can relate to um, our students and our families. A lack of diversity may explain why only 7% of students nationwide said they turned to school officials to talk about mental health problems. For school leaders hoping to help students, it's a sign of more work to do. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. No SROs are on the way, but some parents are asking what about mental health? So I looked into what Denver Public Schools is doing to address the mental health professional shortage. What I found was at the start of the school year, the district budgeted nearly $34.5 million of federal COVID-19 relief funds to mental health. That included a pilot program that will add mental health counselors and 14 other DPS staff members focused on student mental health. Outside of the pilot program, that money would also be used to hire 52 full-time professionals. And this is interesting. In addition to a lack of mental health professionals, Denver Public Schools has a speech therapist shortage as well. Digging deeper, a report by the Colorado Department of Education found DPS has not met federally set speech therapy requirements for more than 1,000 students in 28 schools. This report also found 13 elementary schools did not have a speech therapist on site for at least one full semester this school year. More than 550 students use those services at those schools. And DPS released this statement to Colorado Public Radio. We know that staffing shortages ne negatively impact our students growth and progress on their goals, which is something we strive to avoid at all costs. We are committed to addressing the remedies outlined by the CDE. Now the district has until April 18th to submit a corrective action plan.